collective hello darlings it's your girl mo and we are here for a collective reading in regards to the full moon and lunar eclipse taking place in the sign of scorpio now this will be the full moon and lunar eclipse will be taking place on may 5th but we can definitely already feel these effects going on thank you guys for the continued support bookings like shares comments subscribes recommendations tips all that i really do appreciate it to book a personal reading with me my pricing and contact information will be in the description box down below all other info will be in the pinned comment in the comment section make sure that you are liking the video and subscribing to the channel because it keeps me away the algorithm otherwise known as rotation if you're new to the channel thank you so much for stopping by i really appreciate it now if you want a little bit more background information on um this um event this full moon this lunar eclipse check me out on my socials my tiktok and my instagram all that is in the description box right because on this side of town i like to discuss more of the tarot side of things right but just a little bit of background with it this full moon and lunar eclipse it, oh god super strong super potent and the fact that it's happening in a sign like scorpio double it up you know i had to double it okay so the things that come with this full moon and lunar eclipse is these feelings of exhaustion no matter how long you sleep no matter how many times you hit that snooze button it's just feeling like bro i'm waking up tired as hell that is due to the fact that with lunar eclipses the sun not the sun the earth is in between the moon and the sun therefore the moon is being blocked by the earth and if y'all ever heard you know the fables right about how when the full moon happens you tend to see changes in people around you and the energies and shit like that so that is why we are kind of feeling a little bit of an energetic tug um and pull as it relates to this uh lunar eclipse next massive lifestyle changes so whether this is you um welcoming a new child you being with child you making a certain career change you making a certain relocation you purchasing some new um, tangible item but it was a huge purchase this eclipse season will come with some massive lifestyle changes right or needing to okay the what's crazy is the channel message that i got with this uh event was a new you is blossoming and it's crazy because they are calling this the flower moon lunar eclipse okay so think of this as like your new year Think of this eclipse season, you know, with the solar eclipse as well. Think of this season is bringing in basically the new you. Otherwise, like I said, known as a new year. Oh, okay, excuse me. You entering a new chapter and a cycle in life. Or the start of you repeating a certain cycle or phase in your life. Oh, girl, my puff is everywhere today. It's, a, it's wash day. That could be why so uh collective what we're gonna do um is pull one card to see what your overall energy is um thanks to this full moon and lunar eclipse and scorpio and then we're gonna do a spread right make sure if you haven't already go check out my uh new moon and uh solar eclipse in the sign of aries okay i did that a, what was it? a few weeks ago girl i believe spirit guys how's oh hold up hold up hold up so there could be a spillage of emotions going on during this time. Things coming to the surface that maybe you have kept buried and or hidden. Or just things that you kind of have like either forgotten about, put on the back burner. Things you kind of push to the side could be um, needing your attention during the time collective, okay? Uh, real random, some of y'all might need to get your garbage disposal looked at okay um i don't know if this is like a complex thing the i'm i mean girl you are not the mechanic i don't know if you know the garbage disposal in y'all complex and near you wherever you take your trash out could be experiencing some technical difficulties but some of y'all if you have a garbage disposal either you need to get it clean gut it out okay or something like that or maybe you need to check on it something could be going on with the blades right or it could just need to be cleaned okay fabuloso and some boiling water right and just you know top it off a little bit of bleach okay spirit guys just a little bit just a little bit spirit guys how is this uh full moon and lunar eclipse in the sign of scorpio affecting the collective how is this full moon and lunar eclipse in the sign of scorpio affecting the collective spirit guys six of pentacles with the emperor card Is that everyone has decided to join the chat okay i got earth signs air signs fire signs and water signs so far we have aquarius 
Virgo, Pisces, Aries. Everybody's out here. But, yeah, like I said, with the Emperor, King of Cups, and the Ten of Cups showing up on the bottom of the deck, some of you guys are experiencing a new phase and or cycle in life. With the Emperor card showing up, this could be in regards to either parenting, uh, career, schooling. This for me is just, uh, you know, the kids is about to go into uh, they summer, they summertime, they summer season. Um, having a child that has... Um, graduated from something uh they're moving into a new phase of life themselves if you are a parent also said this could be career and or business uh changes as well uh, with the six of pentacles some of you guys could have been offered some sort of opportunity um and a venture oh <laughs> uh, <laughs> congratulations though with the six of pentacles i'm saying this could be some sort of offer uh venture that is you know it Put a little money in your pocket, okay? It could be, you know, very well paying, right? Next. Ten of Cups. Some of you guys, this could be in regards to family. Maybe you just had a, 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 a baby, a child. Some of you guys could be with child. Maybe you have recently gotten someone pregnant. You... Um, uh, you could have recently proposed to someone. You could have gotten married to someone. You could have moved in with someone. Um, started a business with a lover, spouse, girlfriend, boyfriend, your man, your shorty, right? Or like I said, this is reaching like a new level in a uh, parenting. You know, your kid is no longer a, a a a baby. They're now a toddler or something like that. Okay, they're reaching a new um. I don't have kids. Right, but I'm pretty sure at a certain age, the things that your kids are interested in starts to change, right? Like, it's kind of like, um, oh, girl, what the kids be into? <laughs> what the kids be into? It, it's like they're no longer on um, Blue's Clues, okay, or Door the Explorer. Now they're watching something um, a little bit more advanced, okay? They're, interest, they're interested in something that's for, you know, older kids, right? Oh, God, that took a lot out of me, okay? <laughs> that took a lot out of me, okay? Oh, swear to God. How is this full moon and lunar eclipse in the sign of Scorpio affecting the collective? How is this full moon and lunar eclipse in the sign of Scorpio affecting the collective spirit, guys? Oh, yeah, okay. King of Swords with the Lovers card. So some of you guys have definitely made the decision to sever some sort of tie, enroll in something, sign something, break away from something, let something go. I'm saying this could be with a policy, a contract, a job, a marriage, a house, a, house, a home, right? Relocation. Yeah, I'm hearing that you're deciding to part ways with something. Some of you guys are being urged. It's like something here is bugging you. Something here is annoying you to part ways with something. Um, air signs, I'm seeing this heavy with you. Gemini and Aquarius, you are out here strongly. Knight of Wands, Six of Cups. So with the Lovers card, Nine of Swords, Knight of Wands, and the Six of Cups, some of you guys, let's say it's a love situation. Um, for some air signs... Some of you guys, there could be a certain uh, love connection here that you got a little bit of history with. Okay, Six of Cups. You know, girl, that you put some time in. Okay, you put some time in with this situation. Um, some of you guys could be being bugged by the fact, Nine of Swords, that maybe you kind of reached a climax with this person. Things could be, you know, heading to an ending if they haven't already. Um, some of you guys, this is with a fire Fire or earth sign individual. I got Virgo, Aries, um, and Sagittarius showing up strong, though. It's like with the Six of Pentacles and the King of Swords showing up so far, some of you guys are being hit with the reality check to where it's like, okay, what am I keeping this around for? How is this benefiting me? Some of y'all, this is taking a closer look at your finances, how you're budgeting your money, how you're managing your money, taking a closer look at the bills okay the expenses this means you're starting to factor in how inflation is really hitting your pockets how um the rise in groceries is starting to affect how much money you put into your savings which is affecting how much money you set aside for your upcoming bills for the uh, following month it's like <sighs> becoming a lot more observant overall energy with the six of pentacles of financial issues 
certain decisions that you are making definitely having to do with finances. Finance is a huge um, theme for a lot of people during this time. Spirit eyes. How's this full moon slash lunar eclipse and sign of Scorpio affecting the collective? How What's the sitch with everybody? How's everybody feeling due to this full moon and lunar eclipse and Scorpio? Ace of Pentacles with the Queen of Pentacles on the bottom of my deck. Like I said, some of you guys could have uh, recently made a huge purchase as of uh, recently. I'm repeating myself. You know I don't like that. This could have been in regards to a home, a vehicle, a property. Something tangible, something that you can touch, okay? Um, some of you guys, this is being a part of a new policy, document. What's the other word I'm looking for? Partnership corporation company some of you guys could be going through orientation or an onboarding process something like that okay um i see a lot of earth air ah, divine feminine i'm seeing a lot of earth and air signs going through this it was going so well it was going so well so, collective, a lot of you guys are in this energy. King of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles. It's like, um, you're very much nine to five as of recently. You've been giving us very much, you know, girl, I'm in a board meeting. I'll catch you later. All right. You've been very much focused on finances, business, career. Um, I like it. I really do. Okay. It's like, um, I wouldn't say you hard to reach. But it's like um, your focus is very methodical during this time. It's like you're trying to piece together things, find things out. Uh, like I said, definitely relating to your financial situation. In other news, while you focus, while you minding your fucking business, while you over here minding your damn business, some of you guys have people outside you looking at you with envy, animosity, jealousy, all of it. You look at it. Page of Swords, Devil Card, and we have the Empress and the Queen of Pentacles. Earth sign ladies, a lot of you guys could be experiencing this or you are doing this, okay? Capricorn, Swords, and Virgo, y'all all out here, right? Earth sign men, you could be experiencing this or you are doing this, right? People looking at you. Now, because this energy was on the bottom of the deck, Y'all are my peoples, of course. So you are the one who is receiving this energy. Page of Swords and the Devil card. Like I said, you're being looked at with envy, animosity, hatred. They they, they can't hate you too much because they look at you. Can't hate me too much, girl, if you clocking my shit. Okay? Nobody can, nobody can press me but the press. Nobody can check me when it's chess, right? In the words of Travis Scott. Okay, but some of y'all do have that going on with you during this time. It's like you make it look easy because you surgical with this bitch. All right, some of you guys make whatever you're working on, however you're conducting yourself. I wouldn't say you, ah, girl, I, it kind of looks easy with the Six of Pentacles. Like you're doing it with, uh, like I said, with ease, right? But it's like you see everything that works out for you or you're um, involved in, everything seems so methodical. You know, it's like, how are you put, how are you putting this all together, right? Um, a lot of you guys could be a lot more focused on uh, your health and wellness during this time. This for me is you're getting checkups, x-rays, appointments, getting things looked at. Um, a lot of you guys could be taking a, a closer look at your diet, um, looking at what has been affecting your bones, right? Vitamins and shit like that. Spirit so, guys. How is this full moon and lunar eclipse in the sign of Scorpio affecting the collective? What's everybody's sitch? Due to this full moon and lunar eclipse in the sign of Scorpio, period, guys. Two of cups with the emperor. Yeah. Some of you guys could have recently gotten some sort of partnership, sponsor, um career opportunity business opportunity job opportunity to where it's like you feel at home king of swords ace of pentacles or the two of cups oh this feels like i'm hearing a uh, better fitted 
Okay, um, some of y'all, oh, you got a little bit of money. I don't know, some of y'all could be, well, girl, it ain't really getting, you know, uh, we know what it is having a little bit of money, okay? It is, right? Because you just like fit, shit to fit um, a certain type of way. Like, I'm starting to wonder, am I gonna have to start getting pants tailored? I need to get a specific type of jean. I can usually find at Kohl's, but sometimes, eh, I need mid-rise. Is it mid-rise or low-rise? I think it might be low-rise. But I can't get regular jeans, you know what I mean? Like they have to be the the the, uh, the seam in the middle has to be a certain uh, length because I'm short. I have a short torso, right? So I can't just buy jeans from anywhere. Like I said, I usually get them from Kohl's. Okay, one of my homegirls they told me to check out American Eagle. Them jeans be thirty dollars a piece plus. I think thirty is the minimum. You heard me earlier. You gotta have a little bit of money. Not saying that I don't, but it's like, but do I? Like, but do I? But just feeling like some of you guys have been awarded some sort of opportunity or person to a cop guy or a person that is like, like, he must have made this man just for me. Like the relaxer. Feeling like that an offer that has been brought to you was like, was that from him? Did he hear me talking one day, right? Um, if you feel this in regards to a love situation, earth, air, and water signs, either you feel this way about someone that you could be dealing with during this time, right? Or someone feels this way about an earth. Someone feels this way about an air, earth, and water sign individual. We're going to move right along. We're not going to address that. Mm, I hate damn. I was about to say, I see why people could be looking at you with a little bit of animosity and uh, envy. Because it, it, it honestly, it looks like you got it all together. It looks like you got everything. It looks like you have everything to people. Great job, great business, great career, great relationship. Spirit so guys. How is this full moon and lunar eclipse in the sign of Scorpio affecting the collective? What's the sitch with everybody due to this full moon and lunar eclipse in the sign of Scorpio? Five of Pentacles. With the King of Wands. Oh, Lord. Hold up. Hold up. We got to go to the flip side, okay? Flip mode. Turn the page. I do see some individuals um, going through this um, space of feeling either lost, unfulfilled, or unsatisfied in regards to work, career, or love. Earth, air, and water signs. Okay, I see it. Okay, and some fire signs. Uh, King of Wands and the Six of Wands are showing up here. And the Ace of Wands. Um... With the Six of Pentacles being the overall energy, it's like someone here wants um, a replacement or someone here just wants something new. Some people here hate the job that they have. Uh, they hate sitting in these meetings. They hate their manager. They hate their co-workers. They hate this job that they at, all right? But with the Ace of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles, you know what I heard? Somebody here has been fooled to believe that this is their only option. This is basically just... just realizing that we've been programmed so much like i remember back in high school because i'm at that age right i remember back in high school to where we had those placement tests where they always ask you or they're either bring the the army okay the army of people from colleges to discuss you know what your next move is going to be whenever you graduate high school and i remember that being the only two options or you being in sports and you getting you know a scholarship in order for you to go to college but it was either the army you go to college or you in sports and you get your college paid for, which is the same thing, right? They never talked about getting job experience because you actually need that. And the no longer is the degree enough. I think it never was, right? Um, getting a, a trade or a skill, right? Being able to, uh, because that can lead to you employing yourself. You won't need to work for nobody because you have a skill and a trade that people will pay for, you know, to have that service. Right. But just realizing they played me from the beginning. They programmed me to be an employee since I set foot 
into these schools. It's getting a little deep, girl, and I just don't feel like having the men in black come to see me, girl. I just got my memory back. I don't need <laughs> I don't need it, okay? But I do see someone here. Um, his kind of like I said, I, I get this energy of some individuals being programmed to believe that a certain love connection or a certain job situation is the best that they can get. Um, it's like, what am I gonna do if I leave this person? I'm, I'm financially stable, I'm financially secure. Is that the best you can do? Is that the best you can do? The way you just worried about... I was going to say you just worried about the bills being paid. Okay, that's an important thing, right? But it's like, what is that if there's no intimacy, no nurturing, no love, no care? That's a cold-ass house you living in, man. Okay, that's a cold bed that you living in. And somebody in that bitch with you. That's crazy. That's crazy. All right? Someone here thinking that they can't leave a certain job. What am I going to do about my, uh, my benefits or my pension? Or you know how my kids going to eat? When it's like... But you barely get to spend any time with your kids because you're always working. You barely get enough to, you know, pay your bills. You barely making it by. You check the check. It's like, this is the best you can do? Who told you that? Spirit, guys, how is this full moon and lunar eclipse and Scorpio affecting the collective? What's the sitch with everyone, Spirit, guys? Who's this full moon, lunar eclipse, and the sign of Scorpio? I stand up, but the pants that I got on got this ass out. Let me stop. High Priestess, Misty. It's in the building. With the fool card on the bottom of the deck. Now, a lot of you guys with the King of Swords and the High Priestess showing up in your reading, you guys are spiritually discerning enough. You got a good, you got a sharp radar to know with the Five of Pentacles, you are in a space, place, or connection that is not feeding you. And feeding you in regards that you feel left out. You feel, um, I, girl, I'm hearing abused. Um, you feel berated. You feel defeated. You feel diminished. You feel embarrassed. Some of you guys have that radar to know, oh, where am I at, girl? What side of town is this? And with the fool, y'all might just gotta see the ass. Y'all might just gotta see the ass, bitch. What? Sorry. But my means is on the bottom of the deck. The full card with the Hierophant is your granddaddy. With the full card, a lot of you guys, whenever you um, are in that space of feeling like, oh no, this can't be it. This cannot, <laughs> this cannot be it. With the full card, girl, grab the skateboard, I'm out. It's like a lot of you guys really don't have an issue separating from things or taking a leap on you, um leaving something behind when they're with the five of was like uh like yeah that's it this for me is you know like is this the best deal that you can give me nope i'll walk away from it you know there gotta be something better for me and with the page of pentacles and the nine of cups and the six of swords there is it's like if a job don't want to pay you what you're asking for you think this is the best place that you can you can you, you think it's the best you can do like somebody won't pay you what you're asking for because you have the skills and the capabilities. Yeah. This for me is like someone here being way too qualified or way too good for a certain situation. 2323 confirmation. Some of y'all are way too qualified for the job that you are settling for. Some of you guys are way too good. For the connection and the person that you are settling for. Ha! Ah, wowzers! Excuse me. Siri, so guys. How is this full moon and lunar eclipse in the sign of Scorpio affect... So sorry, booty up. Affecting the collective. What's, what's everyone's sitch due to this full moon and lunar eclipse? In the sign of Scorpio. Uh, I gotta burp. Uh, excuse me. Ten of Cups and the Fool card is showing up on the bottom of the deck again. Miss Store or what? Mrs. Interasante. Right? Some of y'all, this ain't you, but it's definitely someone real close to you. This could be someone that you work with, a, a manager of yours, a co worker, or something. Did I say someone that you related to? Or someone that you with? A spouse. The Two of Cups and the Ten of Cups is out here. Um. You need to be careful about absorbing someone else's down and out energy, okay? I told that's why I told y'all some of y'all could be too like 
damn, I'm going to say it. What? Some of y'all could too, could be too good for someone that you are settling for a connection with. Does that make sense? <laughs> Water, earth, and air signs. Y'all still out here. So far, we have Aquarius, Taurus. Taurus is very strong. Virgo, Cancer, and Pisces. A little bit of Scorpio is out here as well. Let me do 10 minus. Oh, no, that's actually Pisces. 10 minus 2 equals 8 of cups. So it will be Pisces again. Never mind. Uh, don't rewind, right? It's like, you know, uh, someone here knows they're not happy with someone. Um... E. Oh no, it's like what could look picture perfect to others. Five of Pentacles is actually someone's nightmare. 25 25 confirmations. Like someone here does not like being with someone. But with the Ten of Cups, either they feel like they got to keep up appearances, they feel like this is what they're supposed to be doing. It's like, well, I'm supposed to be with this man. I'm supposed to be with this woman. You know, I've known them for a long time. I have a child with them, right? Programmed. I'm just saying. Sounding very programmed. Let me stop. Yeah. For the employed folks, okay, some of you guys could work with some. It's not even really bitter Betty. It's it's downer Debbie. Some of you guys could work with a lot of downer Debbie people. Um, I it's. I really don't like it because it's like just because you're not happy with where you're at and what you're doing during doesn't mean that you have to project that onto me, right? It's like certain people, 26, 26 confirmations might never have anything good to say about you making certain changes in your life, experiencing new things. They will always try to find the negative in it because like I said, they're projecting high priests. They're not happy where they're at, five of pentacles. So it's kind of like they got to diminish you or downplay what you're doing, what you're involved in, the moves that you're making to make themselves make themselves feel better. So here, guys, how's this full moon and lunar eclipse in the sign of Scorpio affecting the collective? What's the sitch with everybody due to this full moon and lunar eclipse in the sign of Scorpio? So here, guys. Six of Wands with the Empress. I was scared because the last time I saw the Empress and Queen of Pentacles, the devil was right underneath it, okay? <laughs> but we did have Divine Feminine showing up. So King of Swords, Five of Pentacles, and the Six of Wands. Some of you guys, uh, who, who, who is this? Air, Earth, and Leo, specifically Aquarius, Libra, Virgo, and Taurus. Some of you guys were not happy with a certain job, Eight of Pentacles and the Justice card. So with the King of Swords, you cut it off. Five of Pentacles and the Six of Wands. And it was good for you. Some of you guys could have gotten a new job already. It's better paying. Okay, you feel like it's a lot, uh, it's, it's better fitted for you. We're actually getting used properly. You know? <laughs> You're getting used properly, right? High priest in the two of cups is like, yeah. It's like, this is where I belong, right? Um, some of you guys, this is uh, moving on from someone and being with someone to where it's like, oh, wow. So this is what the new model is like. It's like you was on an iPod shuffle at one time and they got you the newest iPhone now. What is it now? The 14? Okay, now they got you the 18 iPhone 18, this motherfucker just show up on your on your forearm. Bop, do that and boom, there you go. Okay, some of you guys could be dealing with, be in a new connection, be dealing with a new person ever since you decided to leave someone here that didn't see your worth, didn't see your value because they had none. Sorry, not sorry, but that's that, that, those are facts. Okay? Spirit guys, how is this full moon and lunar eclipse and the sign of Scorpio affecting the collective. How is everybody feeling due to this full moon and lunar eclipse in the sign of Scorpio? Here you guys. Six of cops with the hangman. I see something that you've been working on or towards will definitely come to manifestation and fruition uh, close to this uh lunar eclipse and full moon now remember um uh during eclipse season we tend to feel the effects two weeks before they hit and two weeks after they hit minimum all right so even after uh may 5th 
even after May 5th, you will still be um, feeling and or experiencing the side effects of this eclipse season, right? But like I said, some of you guys will see something that you've been working on, or like I said, towards a goal, an aspiration, a dream. You'll see it come to manifestation close to this lunar eclipse. Some of y'all, this was a job. All right, you've been job, uh, you've been job hunting, job shopping, and you find something tailored just for you, right? Um, ba, 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 ba. some of you guys, this is just some sort of goal that you had. Like, um, this for me is like I'm gonna save up uh $300 by um in the next over the next two months, right? Um I'm going to buy a car in the next uh, year, the next six months or something like that, okay? Um, there's just some sort of goal or, like I said, aspiration that you guys will really um, see um, happen for you if it hasn't already, okay? And with the hangman, I do feel like you had to wait on it. I do feel like there could have been a certain delay um, with this coming to you or there will be a certain delay with this coming to you but the hangman in this deck she look cool it's like that's fine girl i'll go do some pilates okay i'll do some yoga while i'm waiting it's like you're not really tripping about the wait time anymore in regards to things that you're trying to manifest okay spirit guys hit myself kind of hard there didn't i spirit guys <laughs> last car houses full moon and lunar eclipse in the sign of scorpio affecting the collective how's everybody being affected by booty up by this full moon and lunar eclipse in the sign of scorpio spirit guys is that how we gonna end it seven of swords with the eight of wands this is a sad way to end the reading. It really is. A lot of you guys will be noticing or realizing certain people that's not good for you in regards to relationships, love connections, family relationships, and Six of Cups relationships that you have um, built over the years, a long-standing relationships. Seven of Swords and the King of Swords is realizing that someone that you've been cool with, um, been a relationship with, um have done business with is a charlatan they're a liar they've been scamming you they've been stealing from others um damn they're not who they say they are jeez and crackers okay I see some of you guys leaving a certain situation place or person and then when you look back you're like how did I not see all this bullshit while I was there? Or you did, and it's just realizing, damn, it's a good thing I'm not a part of that anymore. It's a good thing I don't work there anymore. It's a good thing I'm not cool with that person anymore. I'm hearing because you see a downfall um, happening with a certain situation. And like I said, you have decided to leave alone. So, who will resonate with this reading the most? Aquarius. Cancer, Virgo, Taurus, Pisces, Leo, and Scorpio, okay? Um, earth signs are all out here. A lot of you guys, I'm a lot of earth signs can definitely resonate with this. And the waters, all the waters are out here, girl. Mm -hmm. Also, a lot of you guys are learning to keep things to yourself because it's like you really don't know who happy for you. Your um, your lover, your man, your husband, your wife, your auntie, your sister, your son, <laughs> your co-worker, your boss, your manager. Anybody can be an op. Anybody can be a federale. You know, it's like any... Girl, like, what the fuck is that? Any, any, anybody can with the seven of swords be a traitor. I'm not saying be skeptical and or suspicious of it, it, everyone. That is Scorpio energy, though, at its finest, right? I'm just seeing with the king of swords being your first um card, you were someone that is observant. So before you let certain boundaries get crossed, before you give passes and or access to people, you like to observe Certain environments, certain uh, places, like I said, certain people before you get too close or let people get too close to you. And usually your intuition ain't wrong. I said at the beginning of the reading, some of you guys got a real good radar. So you're able to tell when something is trash. Collective, that was your collective. Collective, that was our reading for the full moon and lunar eclipse in the sign of Scorpio, otherwise known as the flower.
It's the rock lunar eclipse. Like the video, leave a comment telling me if this resonated with you in any way. Subscribe to the channel. Pricing and content information will be in the description box down below. All the info will be in the pinned comment in the comment section. All right, y'all. Two deals. Bye. <laughs>